I had a lot of salespeople that had a problem with my management style and I have it here too. It's, you know, and I'm, I'm continually apologizing and repairing that if I see somebody with a coaching opportunity, I want five people in the room so I don't have to teach five people where the one person getting the training can get hung up on not listening because he's correcting me in public. He's, he's coaching me in public people. You guys, listen, you shouldn't forget the delivery message. Forget about the peripherals. Forget about the style. If there's a message in there that's going to help you feed your baby or pay the power bill or make a customer happy, only listen for that. I mean, that's the workability of the survival of your species. Don't get hung up in all that. Can't look bad and have to look good. So, but what I thought was because my, Cadillac salesman that had been there forever that was getting ready to retire had been making an average of 40 grand a year. And now he's can't retire because he started making a hundred grand a year, his second year with me after making 30 to 40, 16 years in a row. I thought I could say or do anything with him and he'll love me. But what's interesting is that didn't, I thought I tripled your income. You should love me, but it, it's, I understand that's not the case. There's other. Uh, it's not the case. I struggle with the same thing. I really do. Um, I've, I've, I've lost good people because of it. You know, I mean, I feel like, look, this is the way. This is the way. I've. This is the way I was treated, and it. You know, I got the message. So I'm going to relay the message, but you can't. Um, I would like. I guess you can. And those who, those who can handle it, man, they're powerful people. They really are. But I don't. You know, I don't want to lose people by not adjusting my right method. So I'm like you, man, I'm trying, I'm learning every day. And I'm, I've learned on this show by having people on that have better, uh, managing or leadership in that area. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's a battle every day, right? Yes. So in roles in Bentley, I had a few people, I don't want to say waiting for me to fail, but I may have had a little bit of that. Like, Oh, Mr. Boss, Mr. You know, lecture is now going to go have to take people from A to Z, but what was interesting for five or six years, I was already stopping them out in the parking lot and bringing them back in and selling them anyway. So I don't, I don't understand. Okay. So in Rolls and Bentley, it ended up being the absolute, absolute same, same process. I focused on letting people know where I work and what I do, having a whole bunch of people out there working for me that were happy to refer to me because they love me. Everyone on your show has people that listening to your show has people that love them that are thrilled if they get an opportunity to help you out, just like you're thrilled to refer to your barber, your lawn guy, your suit guy, your your nail person, you know, whatever. We all love helping and we love just, frankly, we even more than that, we like justifying what we did. So we need other people to do it. 